morning, everybody. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Welcome to Bring Good Breakfast. Oh, I should have a game up. Here it comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, my computer crashed right before I went live here. I think I was live for a couple seconds. There we go. Okay. You're just gonna have to... <laughs> you can't hear what I'm saying anyway. I'll type it out. <laughs> so yeah, I made a whole bunch of changes yesterday. Um, mostly uh, geared towards nutrients. Um, oh, also, as you can see, these are fishies now. Yay, fishies. Um, but yeah, you can get nutrients in a whole bunch of different ways. Um, hey, Dark. Uh, like, you can get nutrients from going to these two spaces. You can get, you get a nutrient every time you load one of these pods. Um, and something else. You get nutrients when you kill fish. So yeah, there's lots of ways to get nutrients. I I changed this to three. Maybe I changed it back. Yeah, it looks like I did. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I also made the change that when you buy tiles and stuff, um, or like when you spend dice, like so, um, the spent fish goes into your uh, refresh pool, like access makers. Um, so you just have more dice around naturally that way. Oh, cool. That's five nutrients. Seems great. I really need a blue arrow badly. What am I gonna do with this? Um, it could be this. Or I could start a new colony. I could start a new colony here. That seems really good. Oh, but it's gonna take three sunlight to get there. It is Nemo. That's, that's what my, that's what Noel said too, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. Or I can get this. Let's just do that, I guess. Gotta make the value play. I need trades for that. Okay, so I really, really need a blue. So why don't I do something tricky like this? Oh, nice. That's exactly what I wanted. So this refreshes the shop. Boom, new stuff. I want to get a coral. Exactly what I wanted. No, I wanted this. I want this blue line. Stay focused. Focus. Or I can put two in here to get sunlight. Nope. That seems good. I really want this. But I'd like to make a move first to make it one cheaper. Um, so the biggest design change that I'm considering this morning is um, changing the goal again. But because this is a dice game, so I have this big pool of dice, right? And a very typical dice game thing that I've seen is it's all about getting combos of 
like big, um, like four of a kind or five of a kind or six of a kind or whatever, or like a straight of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or whatever. So I'm thinking about having the goal, um, uh, of doing a number of those things. So like maybe first you have to get four of a kind, then you have to get a five straight, then you have to get six of a kind. Um, and maybe at a low rank, that would be enough to win the game. And then as you go on, those become, have higher and higher requirements. Uh, dark, yeah, the placement tiles totally matters. Um, you build up from these little coral center um, spots. Um, so, yeah, I need sunlight. I can go here. How do I get down there? If I mess myself right up? this go here Oof. what's he attacking he's attacking this I'm gonna lose that fish okay I have to get the sunlight though Spend it. <laughs> uh, what else can I do? This is cool. So I'll minus this, grab this. Use it. Moving uh, the pods, and there's no pods on the board right now. I think I might make the board bigger too, actually. This is cool. So like here. Oh, I can show you something new. So this move tile, awesome. <laughs> That's uh, adorable fish achieved, perfect. Um, this move tile lets you move, uh, oh, a bug. Oh no. Okay, fine. Well, I don't get to show you then. Well, what it's supposed to do is um, it lets you move this guy and I can move him up to two spaces so I can move him onto this space um, and then it activates that space regardless of what this die is. So you can do like combos, um, which are the best thing. Combos are always what you want. Uh, I gotta make a note of that bug though. Let's see. Bug with move to tile. That sucks. I think this game is working now too. Yep. Okay, let's see. But yeah, I think the um the goal of collecting straights and X of a kind in your hand um is gonna mean that I, a like I can add a whole bunch of um like dice manipulation stuff and b uh if you're spending well, I guess you could still try to get just a billion, billion dice. Um, so maybe there's just a hard cap on that. 
like two rows or whatever. But um, yeah, I probably have to put a hard cap on it on the number of dice at that point. So then you're balancing between reroll spaces, nutrients, die manipulation, different types of die for different um, runs, that kind of thing. Can't get this style because it's broken. Yeah. So the idea is um these brown fish right now only roll one to threes. Um and I think I'm gonna make these blue fish roll like um three to seven or something like that. And then these are one to six. And I'm also gonna have fish that have like special abilities. Um so like one that where when you roll a certain face, you get to change the faces. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I like that a lot. Um, instead of gaining more dice, you upgrade with more powerful pips. Well, I think like with, like you'll have both. So you'll upgrade to a certain extent. Like maybe there's a hard cap of 20 in your pool. And then you can like combine the dice or something maybe. Yeah, that's probably good. Squids. Squids are good. Um, kill this guy. A uh, new reef. Where do we want to start a new reef? Probably like here. Put my guy in there. Hide it up. Very cool. Uh, just need this. What do I not need? It's four. But yeah, like then I'm gonna have way more consider. The other the other effect is that I'm gonna have way more consideration of what which dice I'm spending to do things. Um, I think it, I think it's I think it's gonna work. I do want this. Pod. <laughs> that gives way too way too many nutrients. Um, um this face still sucks, I think. That's not gonna work. I better not use that space. Crash the game. Okay. Yeah, like right now, these green spaces, when you land on them, you get two nutrients. But you mean like more stuff like that? Okay. Okay. Think we're 
gonna win. Six on board. So I need uh, two more. So now I have eight on board. Yeah, I win. One green circle and two black circle thing. Great position needs to matter more. So what kind of things would you pick up on the board? Oh no! I'll have to check the VOD. Um, hmm. Mistakes were definitely made. Ha! Huh. Now we're getting a pretty good grid. So I can go like this, and like this. Boom. It's going good.
Fortunately, there's like, I guess it's fortunate, but like, I'm just sort of reconfirming that the new goal is going to be better. <laughs> but it's hard to make big predictions. It's such a big change that it's hard to make big predictions about what that will mean before doing it. Um, so the information horizon on the oops on the uh, game design is very tight right now. So why don't we play the militia update? Because I have to do some beta testing for that anyway. The midstream turnaround. One thing we're looking out for in particular is enemies shouldn't be able to make moves that they couldn't make at the start of their turn. So for example, this guy right here shouldn't be able to move here this turn because it's blocked. Even if this guy moves first. Um, and the reason for that is order shouldn't matter. The player shouldn't have to be taking into account order as the unit moves. Well, but that won't happen. <laughs> because I killed the guy anyway. You understand. Also, I can just clear the floor. these threatened square things are definitely a good change. It basically means two things. I can spend less time looking at situations, deciding if they're safe, and it's occasionally it saves me from dumb mistakes. Like right now I feel very confident that this guy's the only guy that's going to attack me, and I just killed him, so we're safe. Oh. It's playing too fast. Doesn't save you from that, though. Nothing saves you from that. Can't quite get in there. Friends, I think we've improved the game. I think it's better now. That's all we're trying to do. Oh yeah, I added this. It was always a little awkward when, I don't know, I tried to do this thing where like, oh, you're gonna keep playing because if you just click, it'll load a new level and then you'll be in an endless loop. But, uh, I don't know. Just give him the option. <laughs> I can make this, like, a cooler color if I want or something. Um, I like this, like, lounge music. Uh, let's see if these work. I don't see why they wouldn't.
Seems to be working. Tutorial speedruns for grads. Get in there. There are actually enemy patterns on that stage where you can't win, I think. That's not the best. I'm learning. I'm ready to roll. Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't know. It seems cool to me. Seems like it's working. I fixed this bug, or this full screen toggle wouldn't show up. That's cool. Um, can we take place in matches. Yeah, looks like it. Can we take place in matches from over here. Yep. That's cool. This works, this works. I don't know how they get these ranks. I, maybe it's a bug. I don't know. This guy's on the forums all the time though. He's a, seems like a cool guy. Um, he actually, he's the one that was telling me about um, the enemy turn ordering change that I made. So, props to Zed Lions fan. Maybe he does have that rank, I don't know. Like, at some point I guess the board, the board just gets completely full. And then, I don't know. I'd be curious to watch him play. Um, cool. I should change this uh, promotional message to something other than Solar Settlers' live on Steam. Probably. Maybe about board game breakfast. Anyway, uh, I think that'll do it. Um, thanks for stopping by. It's been fun. I hope you guys have an excellent day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.